Great news for those on a fixed income, Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA survivor. Yes, Speaker McCarthy unveils the $1.5 trillion debt bill. He pushes it toward a vote. All of the news and full details that you need to know about is right here in this video. Stay tuned because this video is loaded with information. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy unveiled a sweeping package Wednesday that would raise the nation's debt limit by $1.5 trillion into next year while imposing a long list of Republican priorities, including new spending caps, work requirements for recipients of government aid, and others that are sure to be non-starters for the White House. Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's John Miro here presenting you with this up-to-date news that just happened today. We want to thank you so much for your love and support. Your feedback means the world. Thank you guys so much for your comments. Thank you so much for just loving this channel. We couldn't do it without you. If you would like to support, if you would like a t-shirt, a coffee mug, a face mask, the link to buy our merch is down in the description below, as well as if you would like to jump in on the giveaway for a free $25 gift card. We're going to be doing that drawing tomorrow afternoon. All you have to do is join the family by hitting that subscribe button. So why is this news so important for those on a fixed income? Why is it so important for those that are depending on that monthly check? Well, number one, we're not going into a debt crisis. He's presented the $1.5 trillion that they're going to raise it by in order to pay the bill. So in other words, you on a fixed income, you're going to get paid a full benefit. You're not going to get them cut. You're not going to get any problems with making sure you're going to continue to get those monthly checks as need be. Now, what I hope to see in this national debt limit that's been raised is actually Bernie Sanders pushed the $200 monthly increase. With $1.5 trillion, I think there's enough wiggle room in there to give you an additional boost. That would be an additional $2,400 every single year. I think it's feasible. I think it's well within that budget to make that happen. Now, again, I know the Republicans have their own priorities. I know they have their spending caps, the work requirements that they're going to require for the recipients on government aid and I get it. So McCarthy also announced that the House Republicans were introducing their legislation just as President Joe Biden was taking the stage at a union hall in Maryland to warm of looming fiscal crisis if Congress fails to take action to raise the debt ceiling. Now, at $31 trillion to keep paying the nation's bills. Now, look, let's just get real right here for a second. No one's on the same page. You've got the Republicans that are not on the same page with the Democrats. The Democrats, even the president's not on the same page with the Republicans. And at some point, they're going to have to come together to help for the better of the American people. I get it. I understand their differences. They don't think the same. They don't feel the same about certain topics. And But here's the thing. Regardless of how you feel and what you think and your belief and your standpoint, your view, things have to get done. So President Joe Biden said, if we don't do anything, we're not going to be able to pay our bills. If Congress fails to take action, all, of the, all this information. So does Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy is like, well, I can't get President Joe Biden to sit down and discuss. So they're both saying the same thing. Both saying, hey, we need an answer. We need a resolution. But here's the problem. They're not getting anywhere. There's nothing that's been happening other than presenting these $1.5 trillion bill to pay the nation's debt. Now, I get it. They're going to want to raise it. They're going to want to make sure that you guys on fixed income get paid. Wow, that's a relief just knowing that your benefits are not going to be cut. Now, of course, there's a lot of things that need to happen, like Social Security needs to get a major boost. Those that are pushing for financial relief need to get a stimulus check. I mean, if you don't make within a certain income bracket, how do they expect you guys to make it? Especially try to put food on the table, pay your grocery bill, put gas on the car, take care of the kiddos, take care of the family. There's just no possible way. So I know the Republicans, they unleashed a Limit, Save, Grow Act. And guess what? They, they literally want to make this a law to target this debt crisis. 
Now, President Biden is skipping town to deliver a speech in Maryland rather than sitting down to address the debt ceiling. And this is, of course, what McCarthy's saying. The package was swiftly embraced by leading re Republicans as McCarthy has worked intently to unite his often fractious majority. A vote in the House is expected next week in hopes of pressuring Biden to respond. The Democrats in the House and the Senate are almost certain to be opposed. Now, look, again, there's so many differences, so many viewpoints and beliefs on what should happen. But he, but if you're going to be in that position, if you're going to be able to have such an input on the direction of our economy, the direction of our nation, the direction of how bills get paid, I think they got to do a better job. I mean, I can't be the only one who says they need to get some things together. Get it. Listen, I'm not here to point fingers and I'm not here to say one side is better than the other because right now they're both not doing anything. So you, along with me, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will keep you updated on all this news. I love you. Appreciate you. Don't forget about the merch link down in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for your chance to win. I love you. Be safe. I've got more videos on the way. And until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace.